Can you give your thoughts on how small business owners and entrepreneurs can most easily put a podcast into practice? Because I think a lot of them, they hear about doing that, they see it, they kind of want to, but they're scared to death. As a business owner, the question is, do you need a podcast? And I think you've got to answer that first. Do you need it and do you want it? Because um, maybe the answer is no. You know, and you've got Clubhouse now, you've got like, you can do a video series, you can do a lot of other things. It doesn't have to be a podcast. Do you want it? Do you need it? Um, two, more than likely, you're not going to monetize it on for sponsorships or anything like that. But if you are a business owner, a good thing that we did initially with Urban Misadventures was just using it as a lead, as a legion tool and monetizing that way. Like, hey, like I'd love to have you on my podcast. We do personal branding. We're not going to talk about it at all, but you're going to know it because we're going to talk after the show. And then two months later, you're going to ping me like, yo, like <laughs> I, I have this amount. Like I'd love to work with you X, Y, and Z. Using it more like that is a good way. In terms of like the action, like putting it together, I think starting with, do you actually need one? Um, and do you actually want to do it is important. And then look at what's out there. What are your competitors doing? What is everybody else doing? The reason why I wanted to do my shows because I wanted to do something completely different, completely unique. And I wanted people to talk about me. And I wanted to see if I could get people to talk about me. If no one's talking about you, I, I don't think it's worth it in all honesty. Like maybe not initially, like let's put in work, let's grow, let's build our, our skill set, let's build our audience, but you've got to do something different. So what is that thing? Maybe that's format. Maybe that's having certain guests on. Maybe that's just a solo show. Like, I don't know, uh, but doing something different versus just having the same show is the company that's similar to you are, to the person that's similar to you are really looking what's out there and is your show needed? Versus just, hey, I'm going to create a podcast because everybody else is doing it. Because um, it's a lot of work. Like 36 hours went into my first three episodes. <laughs> and that, that doesn't include like research. Like, <laughs> like just the editing and like working out the flow. Like that's abnormal for most people. Most people, it's a couple hours. But even a couple hours is a lot of work. So yeah, um, yeah I would start there.